Alright, this is Terminator from ZombieMind.com, and I'm uh, here recording a video for my uh, site, Cod Radiant Tutorials. Um, this video is going to be about compiling a map using Launcher. Um, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open Launcher, and you're going to want to go to the Compile Level tab. You're going to want to find your level in the list and you're gonna see these options over here compile BSP is basically all the the objects that you've drawn using radiant the 3d objects that you built your entire map out of you know the squares that you draw and then you cut into that's all BSP terrain patches all that crap um, you generally don't want to change any of these options um, I'm not even going to go into them. And then Compile Lights obviously compiles any light nodes in your map. If you've got a relatively slow computer or you're looking for a really fast compile and you don't care about lighting, you can uncheck it and the compile will be a lot faster. Um, if you're, I haven't really experimented with this, but I would assume if you're completely done with your map and you're ready for release, if you change the Compile Light options to Extra, It'll spend more time, take longer, but look better, I would assume. Uh, compile Viz uh, is an advanced option to do with um, portaling your map. You, don't even, you virtually never need to use that. Uh, and then com Connect Paths um, builds AI paths. If you don't have any paths on your map, don't bother checking this. If you do have paths, but you want a fast compile and you don't need the AI to, for whatever you're testing, uncheck it, otherwise check it. And then reflections, don't ch you know if again if you're looking for a fast compile, uncheck this, and your compile will be a lot faster during testing. And then once you're ready for release, go ahead and check it. Um, and if your map doesn't have any reflection nodes, which I strongly suggest you put into your map, otherwise don't even bother releasing it. Um, you don't need to check this if you don't have any nodes. And then build fast files always needs to be checked if you plan on booting your map after you compile it. And honestly, why wouldn't you? Um, if you don't check that, you're not going to be able to boot your map. BSP info, just print some extra info out down here about the BSP compile and run map after compile. Obviously runs the map after it's done compiling. And I don't know what this does. I've never had to use it. Um, I would assume you never have to use it. Before you compile your map, you're going to want to go over here and you want to check this box, mod specific map, and you want to make sure that it matches your map name. Um, so if your map isn't working for some reason, you know, you haven't changed anything, but for some reason now it can't find certain scripts or some other stupid error, check this and make sure it was on the right one before you spend any more time. And then once you're, once you've ch checked all these options, go ahead and hit compile level. And any red text, um, generally should be given attention. Um, some red text doesn't make any difference, like error texture repeats too many times, it doesn't matter. Um, green text is warnings. Um, generally you don't need to pay attention to those unless something's not working as intended. See, I made an error, I made my ambient light under zero, less than my sunlight or greater than my sunlight, so it corrected it. If you get a an error during compile, um, assertion error, it has to do with your RAM or out of memory or something like that. Um, generally, rebooting your computer is the only way to fix that. And if rebooting your computer doesn't fix that, then you've got a deeper problem than the software. Um, I, I used to have that problem, and it was because it was actually because my motherboard was dying and the RAM wasn't working correctly. Um, but I've, I've known people that had that problem and their RAM is completely fine and rebooting the computer is what fixes that. It's usually because there isn't enough RAM to allocate to the program because you've got too, much other, too many other things open in the background. Firefox definitely uh, is a memory eater.
Okay, this window that comes up, um, it's going to flash through all the reflection nodes and render the lighting and reflections for those. Oh, actually, this is the one that builds the pass. The reflections is after this. computer's already shitty as it is, recording a video and doing this at the same time isn't helping. There we go. There's the reflections from the reflection nodes. I guess I could go through this while that's loading. Um, once you're done compiling your level, you're going to want to compile your mod. Uh, it doesn't matter what order you do them in, you can do a mod first or your level first. Um, you want to select your mod from this drop down box. And then build mod.ff is going to compile all the files referenced here into a fast file for your map to load build iwad is going to take all the files checked over here and put them into an archive uh, .iwd uh, for your map and I don't really know how I think fast files take precedence over iwds meaning if you reference if you have include zombie mode over here and you also have zombie mode checked over here it's going to use the zombie mode in the fast files and the reason why that's important is the fast files take the files that you tell it to include from your root called the root which is here in raw so that zombie mode would come out of the maps folder here while the IWD zombie mode would come out of your mods maps file. So if you've made some changes and they're not woo, they're not taking effect, check check and make sure your fast file and your IWD aren't conflicting. And then build sounds, um, I'll probably get into that in another tutorial because it's it's a whole other can of worms. It's a pain in the ass. So that concludes this uh, compiling tutorial.